as this sold for $450. Definitely had some value. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, the Goodwill bins, wherever, and flip for a profit. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for and also what platform they sold the item on. These come from Facebook, Bolo Buddies Facebook members. If you're not in my Facebook group, there's a link down below. Share your best May Bolo. And I will be putting up share your best June Bolo. So I hope you guys will come and share a Bolo. Feel free to put in the comment your selling platforms. If you sell on whatnot, you can put that. If you have a YouTube channel, put that. Definitely shout yourself out and I will include that in the video. Um, This is the third time recording this because I accidentally had Whatnot pulled up and it was messing up my audio. I was over there watching Lucky Day Living and I turned it off and then I thought I turned it off and then I listened to it again and I'm like, why is my audio choppy? And it was still on in another browser. I'm like, oh my goodness. So this is my third time recording the same video. So hopefully it works this time. Juicy Couture Velour Tote Bag. It's a shoulder bag purse embroidered and it says Y2K. So if you know that it is from that time frame, put Y2K in the title. That is a fantastic keyword. This one comes from the Oki Picker on eBay. Picked up three vintage juicy bags for $5 each at a yard sale. This one sold first for full price of $149.94. Bam. If you see Juicy Couture, look it up. Uh, some of their jewelry also does well. Lego Dreams. This is also the Oki Picker, but on Poshmark, if you guys are not selling on multiple platforms, I definitely recommend it because different platforms, different buyers. You can have the same item on three platforms or four or five or however many, and it's going to sell faster on one of them, right? So, Poshmark and Mercari, they can use their credits. Um, even eBay is doing this now. If you sell on the platform, you can use your credits to shop. And sometimes if people have a credit to shop, they're more likely to only look on that platform, giving your item more chances to sell because maybe they're only looking on Poshmark or maybe they're only looking on Mercari. You can sell all kinds of things on Poshmark. I think most of you probably know that by now. This is a Lego Dreams Blob, Z Blob plush promo, promotional blob stuffed animal. Got it at the Goodwill for $1.49 and sold it within a month for full price of $95. So I use List Perfectly to cross post. I absolutely love it. I've been using it since 2019. There is a tutorial demo video down below where I show you how that works. And if you watch it and you feel like that's something you want to try, you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES. And that link is in the description as well. If you're not on Mercari and Poshmark, I have referral links down below for those. Um, you get money to shop. I get money to shop if you, um, uh, if you buy something. So Poshmark, for example, you get $10 to shop when you join with that referral link. And Mercari, you get $10 to shop in another... $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. Now, these are Polly Pockets. These are from 2017, 2018. These are not the really old vintage Bluebird. If you find the Bluebird, those are probably more likely going to sell for higher dollar. She could have parted these out individually and figured out which person went with which, which thing. Mercari is a great place for toys and plush. Sometimes I do better on Mercari than I do eBay with those things that are flooded on eBay. But uh, Mercari has no selling fees now. So um, it costs you pretty much nothing. It does cost you, I think there's a $2 transfer fee to get your money, but just kind of let it build up and then transfer it. You know, maybe wait till you have a hundred bucks. If you have $15, you probably don't want to transfer it because that's, you know, a high fee for $15. So let's see. She said, I picked up a box of toys from a, whoa, what did I just do? I went into her store, picked up a, let's see, box of toys from a local person who listed them for free, pick up on her porch. So these were free, several Polly Pockets. She said, I broke them into two lots. This one sold for $49.99. She picked them up in Christmas of 2023 
but they were free. So she's happy for the flip. Jiffy Thrifty on eBay. So again, you could have, she could have parted this out and possibly made more money, but maybe would have had to wait a little longer to sell. This one is just unbelievable, you guys. Purchased at the Goodwill as an afterthought while I was checking out. Saw it back, saw the back of it and reached over and grabbed it because it looked like a decent brooch from the back. Saw it was marked, couldn't read it at the moment though. Flipped it over and saw all the rhinestones and thought, hey, for $1.99, may as well take the risk and learn something if nothing else. Got home, saw it was marked Panino, P-E-N-N-I-N-O, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Sterling. And that it was missing a crystal. Started researching and realized they were selling for similar to Crown Trafari. Listed as an auction. Got a few bids early. It stayed around $250 or so till right at the end when an unknown bidder came out of nowhere and won the auction for $455. Woo! That's when I say, woo-wee! <laughs> they didn't pay for a few days, so I assumed I was about to go through the whole auction process again. But they did pay and no problems with delivery. Definitely a brooch brand to look out for as a lot of their brooches seem to sell very high. Plus, they are sterling, so there's value there no matter what. Thanks for your time and effort. Your YouTube channel, this one, has been very helpful. And there it is, you guys. Right here, I'm just showing you how they circled the rhinestone that is missing. And I'm going to show you the back here. It is marked right there and with the brand and sterling. So really easy to look that one up because they give you all the information. This one here is a vintage Tiger Electronics 90s, a roaring success toy and game catalog, rare and hard to find. So let's talk about this. It says old toy and game catalogs. I had a lot of trouble finding something similar on eBay, paid up and picked it up for 10 at a rummage sale a couple of weeks ago. This particular catalog is not on WorthPoint or eBay. So, you know, somebody's usually looking for something. So you just got to list it and forget it, right? But let's let's hear more. Took a while, um, I'm sorry, took me a while to figure out this is the type of catalog that comes from Toy Fair Catalog. After I got it home, I noticed damage, missing pages, and some writing due to the fact that someone was cataloging a doll collection. But it if this was in pristine condition, they would have priced it at 150 to 200 and sat on it and waited for the right buyer. Took an offer of 50 plus shipping in under a week. So there you go, guys. Lots of condition issues. Thank you so much for all that extra information. That is definitely helpful, especially for new sellers. Um, and even me, you know, I don't know if I would have picked that up if it had writing and missing pages. I also want to invite you guys to send me a short video called This Is My Bolo, where you share a 60 second to, it can be a little longer, video of a bolo you have. And I'm going to give you an example right now. This one comes from Gypsy Jewels, so definitely follow her on YouTube. And let's see her bolo. Hello, Bull Buddies, and hey, Courtney. I have a big money bolo to share. So, a couple of weeks ago, I went to an estate sale. I saw the pictures, and I was actually looking for the McDonald's playset from the 1970s. It's a bowl, too, by the way, so I'll share a picture. I did find that, and I looked around, found some other good stuff, and had a collection, was about to cash out, and then I noticed there was a sunroom that I hadn't even went in. So I'm like, well, I gotta check things out there too. So I went out into the sunroom and over on this dresser was a vintage espresso machine. And I was like, holy crap, how much do they want for this? And they had $10 on this bad boy. I was shooketh, could not believe they only wanted $10. And I knew right away, oh, this is worth money. This is what it looks like, by the way. A vintage Pavoni espresso machine. I was a little concerned because I didn't know if it would work or not. But I knew even if it didn't work, it would sell for parts. So for $10, definitely, I scooped it up. I got home, powered it on. It powered on great. It heated up. And that's all I wanted to check. I didn't want to monkey with it anymore. So I ended up listing it that night. I thought I paid $10. I'd like a quick flip, you know. So I listed it at $265 and I'm not kidding, it sold in like 20 minutes for $265 plus shipping. That was a very quick flip. Old espresso machines can be worth so much money. They're super valuable. Even for parts, they're worth a lot of money because people can't find these parts anymore. So that is my big money bolo. Always be on the lookout for 
old espresso machines. You might not find them a lot, but they're out there and I found one, so you can too. So anywho, I'm Julie, Gypsy Jewels. My YouTube is Gypsy Jewels. I do a lot of bolo and what sold videos, like that kind of stuff. And catch me there. So thank you and have a good one. So you guys, if you want to send me a video, you send that to Bolo Buddies on either Instagram or Facebook Messenger. And I will put it in a video just like this. this. Here's another example of an incomplete game. Now, if this would have been complete and did not have damage, it probably would have sold for more. In the condition it was in, incomplete with damage, sold for $45. Got it at a public library for 25 cents. And um, again, look this up if you ever find it and see what they're selling for in the condition that you have it. This is a Zara Longline faux leather padded coat on the 4th for 100, listed on the 4th for 4, listed on the 4th for 160. It looks like took a best offer for 150. Paid 20 at TJ Maxx. And TJ Maxx is a discount store. If you don't know, it's a place to source. They have a thing called yellow tag twice a year. I used to buy tons of yellow tag. Retail arbitrage clothing is what I did when I first started on eBay. So I know about TJ Maxx. Um, she said, I love finding and selling blogger favorites. And this must have been on a blog. And it's a Zara long line faux leather padded coat. This is a Hermes Burl Walnut and Ambient Amboina Memo Notepad Stand Desk Stationery Agenda. Oh my goodness. Hermes, guys, garage sale, $2. $2. Actually, it says yard sale. Had it listed for four months for $4.55. Took a best offer of $350. This one comes from Three Sisters Resell Boutique. $350 paid two. Who puts this up for $2 at a yard sale? I want to go to that yard sale. Wow. 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 Okay. This one here is from the same seller. She is uh guess J four, six, nine over on, um, Poshmark. So she sells on Poshmark, eBay and Mercari. And again, Check out that cross posting. This just shows you she's selling on multiple platforms. This is a 1960s genuine hornback crocodile skin black leather clutch. She said, I got this for $2 at a clothing fair, was asking $99, but took a best offer of $65. Here is her Mercari vintage Kiro or Cairo, I don't know, C I R O, a state brooch. And you can see here is the brand on the back. And it is a, um, brooch or a pin. And she said she got it for a dollar at an estate sale and sold it for 99 on Mercari. So Mercari and Poshmark, you can pretty much sell things just like on eBay. Um, almost every category, definitely, you know, there are rules for different platforms to make yourself familiar with what is not allowed to be sold. But yeah, such a cool pin. And I don't know if I've ever seen that brand. Uh, no selling fees on Mercari. Per Pervian Connection New Reversible Cotton Knit Dress. Check this out. You can wear it two ways. And it looks like it's new with tags. And she said, let's see, accepted an offer of $69, paid a dollar at a church sale. And this is Granny B326. This is a KUHL, I don't know if that's pronounced cool, flight jacket, fleece jacket, stone, Shepra. So if you find things that are Shepra, look them up. There's other brands that also do well. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. She sold this for 110 and purchased it for 10. And Piece of Scrap is also on YouTube and she has an awesome YouTube channel. So check her out for more bolos to be on the lookout for. Nina's Jewels, also a YouTube channel. Check out this purse. She said, I bought it at a garage sale for five, sold in less than a week for full price, had some minor condition issues. Had it been perfect, she would have listed it for $175. Nina's Jewels on eBay and YouTube. Definitely check them out. They have some big money bolos. Got this vintage bow maker. It's a Sasheen ribbon bow maker, S72 heavy duty manual. I probably would have walked past it because 
That looks hard to ship and heavy. This one comes from the dog patch pitch picker who is not afraid to ship big items, apparently. Uh, here's a video that shows, I don't know, maybe how it works. Got this vintage bow maker at an estate sale. The sale had been going on for several hours, yet this piece had been passed by. Paid 65 for a wagon full of stuff, so not into this for very much, and sold it for $217.44. It's a vintage bow maker. This here is a Santa Claus with Bell vintage hand-blown Christmas ornament. Now, this is delicate. You're going to have to be careful. This is Jolly's Fashion Emporium, but these can definitely be a nice pickup. Vintage Christmas ornaments. She said, I went to the Goodwill and spotted a small box of the Christmas in the Christmas aisle. She said she saw these two Santas and she looked them up and was freaking out because the box was only $3 and also had other ornaments in it, but also knew that Santas were going to be a great sell. She said she was scared because they are vintage and fragile and didn't want to drop them. She's listed a couple days later separately for $48.74 and about 15 to 30 minutes later, two offers, $39 each that she accepted. She said shipping was scary, but she went ahead, but they, let's see, but they got there and arrived safely. And I'm only showing you photos of one. The other one was very similar. So um, yeah, there we go. The next item is incredible. Says this is a couple weeks old. Got it for free from a friend who runs an electronics recycling company and a crate full of other things he gives me when he thinks the profit is too small to fool with. Sold in a week's time. So I don't know if that means like profit is too small to recycle it or profit is too small for the item because this sold for $450. Definitely had some value. It is a clip-on light for a dentist eyeglasses with two rechargeable batteries. Check that out. Designs for vision, LED, day, nano, light, dental accessory, tested and working, Doughboys Treasures. Come and share your best bolo in the Facebook group. It's at the top under the featured section. And I will share it in a video like this. Be sure to shout out your selling platforms if you sell them, whatnot. If you have a YouTube channel, put it in there. I'll mention it. That's great advertising for you guys. Great way to maybe get people to come over and check you out. I'm on Whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies. Um, this was one of the uh, necklaces. I found it in some of the jewelry that I sell. And I'm like, that will match my hat from Seems So Vintage. Go check her out. Her hats are amazing. She other, has other handmade items as well. I bought this ring right here from Three Thrifty Gals on... Uh, whatnot for seven dollars and fifty cents and it is nine two five and isn't it cool see how it's like green and purple oh i love it <laughs> all right you guys come check us out on whatnot thank you so much for being here thank you for watching be sure to like comment subscribe and share and i look forward to seeing your bolo thanks for watching